too, I guess. We'll see if we can go catch the Amish today. Need to try to haul some logs. I don't know if I want to haul any out, but I'd like to haul a few more in. Now these guys, they're coming to get some walnut to get them out of here. I sure hate to see the piles. It's almost like you kind of want to collect them. I get that way. Like I get a bunch of them in. I'm like, man, I know we cut these to sell, but you kind of like to come home and look at them every day, especially when you have a good veneer layout. It is. It's like you want to collect those logs. You don't ever want to get rid of them. So the sun's finally starting to come out. It's been cloudy all morning about the whole trip over here. We've still got a lot of cloud cover. We'll flip the camera around here in a minute and uh, show you. Every time I drive through this area over here, like in my mind, the Weird Al song, How Much Paradise, is always playing. I wish I had that on the radio right now. We'd have that for some background music. Oh, look here, look here. Yep. Yeah, keep her on your side, buddy. Keep her on your side. Guy's driving like a madman. Down the old road here. Countryside greenhouse and produce closed Sunday. Which I don't know which it's full Amish over here. Amish houses everywhere. Uh, now obviously this operation over here is not Amish. We see a one of those motorized horse and buggies there. Electricity, things of that nature. They do something with horses there, I'm not really sure what. I think one of the things that really, I, I, like I said, you, when you t talk about the Amish, it's, it's kind of a touchy subject with some people. So I'm, I'm, I might be stepping on people's toes here. I don't know if I am. Well, I'm stepping on your toes. But what kind of aggravates me is like just like the old boy went back there and running his horse and buggy up and down the road. Okay, so you run your horse and buggy up and down the road. But a lot of times in different places, because we're getting where we have a lot of Amish where I live anymore. So, let's say there's a bunch of kids driving that horse and buggy, which there usually is in the mornings. I see, you know, a thing will be jam-packed of kids. The oldest one might be 10 years old. And they don't have any lights in the wee hours of the morning, and you're tr bebopping truck along to work, and you hit one of them. And that's not what anybody wants to do, regardless of kids, anybody. You don't want to have an accident, but accidents do happen. Well, then the kids, the Amish kids, don't get in trouble it's or the Amish parents it's the it's the English like me that get in trouble for it which I, I just there's a lot of things I don't agree with with that one how they're not paying any taxes they're not paying any road tax there there's just a lot of things that that I I don't think's right just like with their sawmills they you know they make it harder to compete with for a lot of regular people to have sawmills because regular people we've got to have insurance out the wazoo they have not a lick of insurance um, you know they can skate under that with I guess having 50 kids and having all 50 of them working there but it just uh, a lot, lot of things I don't agree with I'm going to be honest with you guys a lot of things I don't agree with with, uh, with how they operate versus how the regular folk operate but what do you do? What do you do? Let's have a drum roll here. I see some shop doors open. Maybe today will be the day we catch them. Maybe. They'll probably be out of checks in their checkbook by then. Crafty folk. Crafty, crafty. They really got their Cadillac parked out front. Maybe that's a maybe that's not a Cadillac. Maybe that's just a GMC. I don't know. We've got some doors open. Better keep my phone down. They might. Well, yep. There's one of them right there. How about it? Big limb there could be in trouble.
That is nice. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.